Hello everyone, I am super excited because today I get to create with Wild Whispers brand new digital collection. So they have a whole digital collection in their shop. There's the photo we're gonna be playing with today. Here are the papers that I'm gonna be working with. That was actually a three by four card that I printed up to be eight and a half by 11. We're gonna do some stamping and some die cutting. I also have these two scraps of darker paper, which is from the Canadian Winter Collection, just scraps. We're gonna use them. We're also gonna use this stamp from the Canadian Winter stamp set, some dies, and of course my very favorite brush lettering stamp sets from Wild Whisper. I know that I want that like gorgeous textured, it's almost like blanket paper. Um, I know I want that to be my background. And so I'm gonna start with these scraps, using them the way that I'd like to. So I'm gonna uh, use one of the scraps to mat my photo with. And I'm just writing down the information that's on the back of the photo. I'll talk about my photo in a little bit. So the other darker scrap here, I'm gonna cut all of that, use it all up, and I'm gonna create some die cut snowflakes for my page. And I'm also going to do some die cut tags with some of the other pattern papers that I went ahead and printed. So here are the tags, two tags, all of my snowflakes. And then I also pulled out this beautiful, like white frayed May Arts trim. This trim is one of the add-ons from Spiegel Mom Scraps for their Pigment Splash release. And I thought it was so pretty and just perfect to fill out these tags. And it added just a bit more texture than um, having the twine or, or something like that. This ribbon is really kind of bulky, so instead of um, tying it in a knot, I am just going to go ahead and staple the ribbon to the top of the tags. So let's get started. I'm going to start cutting down some of these papers, getting my design idea into place. I love the extra texture. The staples and the trim add to this particular project because we are dealing with a lot of paper. So if you have not checked out this digital collection yet, it's so pretty. Heather created it. Some of the patterns are new, uh, but they coordinate really well with the Canadian Winter Collection as well. So if you have that collection in your stash, this would be a great addition to it. Um, I was so excited when Heather said she was going to do a digital collection in January. I did a little happy dance or, well, she released it in December, but, uh, it's so cute. So I used this paper here that looks almost like a sweater pattern. I cut a one inch wide strip. I cut a larger, um, chunk and then bannered, fishtail bannered the edges and my photos. I'm going to hold my photo on that banner piece. And then for some accent, I have this like messy, almost painterly polka dot paper uh, that I'm gonna go ahead and use. I'm gonna keep uh, the design of this layout pretty, you know, Sarah. That's what I'm gonna call it. This layout design is very Sarah. <laughs> um, so I am adding a strip at the top with that polka dot paper and then doing the same thing here at the bottom, the banner and then that strip and then my photo. So as I get all of my elements here together and decide what I'm gonna be doing, um, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you a little bit about my photo. I'm also going to be doing some stamping once I figure out the placement of a couple of things here. I do, I'm gonna use my Big Misty for uh, my stamping today. Uh, so I, went through my photos. I keep all of my photos in a photo box. And my plan for my photos was to weed them out. So I decided I would go through all of my printed photos, just throw away the things I've already scrapbooked, throw away the ones that I maybe, um, you know, decide I don't want to scrapbook. Um, if you've ever done this, you know that it was a huge disaster. And what I actually ended up with was throwing away no photos and a stack of old photos that I want to re-scrapbook with new products just for the fun of it. Yeah, that didn't work out so good. Anyway, um, but that's okay. <laughs> I guess we'll just go with it. <laughs> 
I don't mind re-scrapbooking older photos, especially if I've already paid money to have them printed and they're sitting here in my scrap room. Um, I don't tend to go and like reprint old photos ever, but um, you know, these were already printed and done and sitting here in my scrapbook room. So why not? So this photo is of my youngest son, Logan. This photo was taken in 2007, so he was eight months old. And I just felt like this photo was so warm and cozy and cuddly. It was taken in February, so it's a winter time of year. The blues matched so nice, and I decided that I really wanted to re-scrap book these photos with these products. Next up, I am going to go ahead and grab my Memory Misty, which is my huge 12 by 12 Misty. And I'm going to go ahead and do some stamping. So this little branch stamp is from the Canadian Winter stamp set. I'm stamping using Fiesta Blue, and it's a boy blue from Catherine Poehler, which is the perfect blue for these printed papers. I'm going to pick just a couple areas and I'm going to stamp one of these branches in each of those two colors of ink. Next up I'm going to take those same two colors of ink, the Fiesta Blue and the It's a Boy ink, and I'm going to stamp my title using the brush letter stickers from, or brush letter stamps from Wild Whisper. I'm going to title this page Little Cutie because that's the first thing I said when I was going through my photos and pulled this picture out. And then I'm also going to stamp the date the photo was taken down in the bottom right area of my page. Once I had all the stamping done, I went ahead and just added my die cut snowflakes all around the page, choosing uh, three areas to cluster them. One around my tag, one at the top, and then one at the bottom. And you can kind of see how I had put those branch stamps in such a way that I could then layer one of those snowflakes right on top of them. So once I have these all glued down, that's going to finish this page off. If you are interested in my hybrid scrapbooking supplies, how I use them, how I print them, you can always find all that information in the hybrid bootcamp playlist that is on my channel. And I will see you all again very soon.